how powerful tobacco is in its own nation, how it communicates. The tobacco plant will actually change its like hormones or pheromones or whatever to draw in a specific insect from 100 miles away to eat these aphids that are infestated. And, and when the aphids have been eaten by the bug, it changes its chemistry to communicate to the beetles, now go away. And this is just a fraction of the communication that goes down with tobacco in all of the tobacco nation. They communicate through chemistry and through, through hormones and through atmospheric pheromones in like profound ways. You're, you're like, oh, for, uh, you know, to ward off predators, to ward off, to communicate about pollen, to bring pollinators in. But the fact is they can call a specific species of beetle in to eat the aphids, then tell the beetles to go away by just pheromone communication. So you talk about a plant that's been documented as one of the great communicating plants um, and, and how the Native Americans use tobacco and how Native people and many cultures use tobacco to communicate with God as the premier, right. toba to, the com premier plant for communication to Great Spirit. And here you got like all these like scientific examples of how the tobacco nation is communicating with all of the other species around it at any given moment. Pollinators, predators, manipulating beetles to eat the aphids off its, on and on and on. So I was like, wow, that's interesting. Here it's got, it's a, it's a powerful communicator. Enough to talk to Great Spirit and enough to talk to the beetles and everything in between. For more videos and plant teachings, visit Wild Medicine School at the link below.